welcome to uh, Mapleware and today I'll be showing you how to uh, do a little animation with Photoshop alright so what you're gonna have to download first is a couple of 3D models and uh, this stuff isn't hard to find all you really gotta do is type in free 3D models in your Google search bar and you should come up with a couple of results now Photoshop offers a lot of types of formats for these 3D models but the ones we're going to be focusing on today is dot th three, uh, 3DS models alright so first you're going to need a picture in this case I've taken a high definition picture off my uh, little desk if you will and um, we're going to animate a plane on it so right click on the picture and go to Adobe Photoshop CS4. Wait for it to load up. And uh, still waiting. Still waiting. Alright, as soon as you got Photoshop open, what you want to do is uh, click, make sure you're in the select tool. Go up to your press window, scroll down to animation, and you should have your timeline selected. Alright, if I can ever get this to pop back up. Alright, so, uh, well, let me just close this one more time. Animation. Alright, so what you want to do now is un make, unlock the background, and so you get this. Alright, so this is your uh, timeline. And now we're going to go and import our 3D model. So we're going to go press 3D, new layer from 3D file, and we're going to go to our models, and I think I'm going to do, um, Let's do the Airbus. Press open. So we're still waiting for this to load. Oh, and here we have the 3D bus. Now, if you um, scroll down here to the left, this is your 3D manipulation bar. So as you can see, well, okay. And this lets you manipulate your 3D object. Just zoom out here for a sec. All right. So uh, here we have our plane, and we're gonna just turn this plane around here. I'm sorry if it's a little laggy. It's because I'm recording my screen. Okay. So we're gonna start off the plane from up here, and we're gonna make it land down here. So we'll just take this plane and put it up there and we're actually gonna have to rotate it here so it looks like it's about to land or something I don't know alright mm, that looks good and resize this make it smaller well not too small okay so that looks good and now obviously you could go and adjust the lighting and make the 3d object make look more real and you can add pictures so the plane actually looks like it's a plane you can go and edit the 3d object and editor of your choice mine would be blender um but here i'm just teaching you basic sorry my microphone went off for a second um we're gonna adjust this this for the first keyframe now you're gonna go down here and click that scroll down here and you're gonna click 3D ob uh, object position. Click that so you can start animating. All right. So now what people usually do, they go uh, frame by frame, and they uh, animate the plane. Now you could go ahead and do that, or you don't have to. What I like to do is um, just do the basic parts that we need. So the basic one would be the plane flying, then touching the ground, and then finally coming to a halt. So we're gonna do this in seconds. So we're going to make, in the first second, the plane's going to come down for a landing. So move the timeline to one second. And then bring the plane down to where it's going to be. Uh, oh, once it, where it first touches the ground. So m for me, it's going to touch the ground right around this area, right here. Get this plane to uh, adjust right. Uh, this takes a little tweaking. Yeah, it takes a lot of tweaking actually. Get this 
right. One second. Uh, this might take me a while. All right, sorry, I have the wrong tool here. All right. Uh, yeah, we're almost done. Let me, <laughs> let me just uh, fix this over here. Okay, so we're gonna get the plane to touch down around this area. And right here maybe. And let's make the plane a little bit bigger. All right, and we can uh, adjust it and put the plane there. And it doesn't really look lifelike right now. There we go. Okay, so the plane's going to end up there when it touches the ground. And then at uh, three seconds, we'll move this all the way down to three seconds. We're going to have the plane all the way down here at a full halt. So we'll make the plane bigger because it's going to be bigger when it gets there. And we're just going to move it there. Alright. So let's go ahead and check this out. See how this animation looks. <laughs> it looks like the plane did a little cut dive on its way down. Um, yeah, and uh, Photoshop does real time rendering. So yeah. You can always go and play around with this. Now, see over here how it looks like the plane's about to crash? Well, at this keyframe, we should fix it up a bit, don't you think? So, rotate it so it looks like it's not going to crash. And let's make that like this. And now it should look a little bit better. <laughs> it looks like last minute the pilot was like, oh, god damn, we're about to crash. Alright, so that's basic animation. You can go up here, file, and press export, and render video, and uh, do all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's basic um, animation in Photoshop for the Mac. Uh, look for more tutorials from me, and uh, Martin should come up with some more. Vista and I should actually pull my weight around this thing because I only have one up right now. So, yeah, um, subscribe to our channels and yeah, thanks for watching.